But during the process of trying to get historic designation, we learned that the county was going to tear it down because the neighbors had complained that it was a derelict building and that the homeless and the drug addicts had taken up residence and it was an eyesore. We had to persuade the county not to tear it down and to see it as worthy of historic designation and to preserve it for posterity so that people will know what went on here. And as I got involved with the preservation of the Hampton House, so many white people came to me and said, I used to go to the Hampton House. Harvey, Harvey Reuven, who is the county clerk, said he used to come to the Hampton House. Howard Kleinberg, who was editor of the Miami News, told me that he used to come to the Hampton House. Several people who said that they would go to Miami Beach to see these artists and entertainers said they came to the Hampton House. They followed them over to the Hampton House after they performed on Miami Beach. And their performance was even better at the Hampton House than it was on Miami Beach where they had paid all of their money. So many of them said they would just wait until they got off from work and, and, and be at the Hampton House when they got here. So the building was worthy of preservation, even though it looked like it should have been demolished. So I think this is the beginning of, of excavating that history. I think it's also the beginning of making the, the new Hampton House, the restored Hampton House, uh, a community center, hopefully with positive impacts on Brownsville uh, and surrounding areas. So I think those are our long-term goals. Uh, for me as a historian, I think this, we've now created a, a site where we can exhibit history. We're going to do a historical display, uh, a sort of small museum. Uh, uh, I've also been able to bring my own students from history and other departments into this, so I hope that relationship will continue so that this will be a place where students from FIU can come to do, practice, learn history. So those are the goals I see as long term. Well, the vision would essentially that be that we have um, a whole roster of programs related to music, dance, and also technology and history. Uh, and that in addition to those programs, we have uh, a successful uh, rental program of our facility and build our donor pool. <laughs>